cm itu. It is only an adventure that some people succeed in knowing themselves and finding themselves. And we have just the adventure for your self-discovery. Spelunking and Whitewater Rafting. Get away from the maddening crowd and drive up 483 kilometers northeast of the province of Cagayan. Hit the capital city of Tugigarao and you're not too far away from an unforgettable quest. Before anything though, stop and marvel at the Pamplona Church. This 300-year-old historical landmark once served as a Japanese garrison and is said to be the exact site of the famous Yamashita treasures. But it's not gold we're after, it's adventure. From the city, follow the road that leads to Peña Blanca town. The road ends at one point, but Filipino ingenuity always finds a way. Getting to Peña Blanca is an adventure in itself. But real action awaits deep within the caves and over the wild waters of the river. First item on the adventure list is to have a taste of the underground. We're gonna take a boat to the cave. Protective gear like helmets are necessary, and going through spelunking ethics, a must. There are throngs of caverns you can try out in Peña Blanca, which boasts of hundreds of caves, most are unexplored. Adventure seekers can enter the Sierra Cave, which has huge chambers filled with white crystal studded columns. gargantuan walkways and teeny meandering passageways tickle your fancy, then eight kilometers of escapade at the Odessa Cave is just for you. You'll find calcite grottos and crystalline flowstones here. Another majestic cave, Heaven, is the pinnacle of the underground experience for many spelunkers. Heaven can be hellish to get through, but those who have braved the challenge agree that it's worth the struggle. Tenderfoot spelunkers usually try out the seven chamber Kalau Caves. Not as challenging as the others, but is extremely glorious. It has a natural cathedral located at the first chamber, which was turned into a chapel by the locals. It is the centerpiece of this mystifying work of Mother Nature. Spelunkers are met with serenity and are surrounded by astounding stalactites and stalagmites. Rays of light descend from the natural crevices and illuminate the chamber. Truly mind-blowing. After spelunking, the feeble would call it a day, but true thrill-seekers would hit the waters to wash off all that mud. Besides, life is either a daring adventure or nothing. Well, what can be more daring for your inner warrior than conquering the rapids of the mighty Chico River? At the jump-off point in Tabok Kalinga, Experts from Adventures and Expeditions Philippines prepare and give the willing a crash course. Kalinga literally means warfare, and looking around, it seems as if these soldiers are preparing for a battle.
pointers on how to read the river and how to use the paddles for forward, backward, left back, and right back moves were given, as well as survival guides in the treacherous rapids. This adrenaline pumping sport is pretty extreme, but people of all ages and athletic abilities with no previous experience can challenge the rapids. Hearts beat fast as the handlers push the rafts off the jetty. Team waters and picturesque backdrops calm tense nerves until the calmness turns into nerve-wracking class 3 proverbial squalls of white water. River has potentially terrifying drops, dangerous ledges, tricky rapids, and intense trials. It gives the intrepid and soaking wet adventurers the ride of their lives. Surviving the rapid, evading a rock, or skirting car-sized boulders definitely deserves big high fives. After four hours and roughly 19 kilometers of euphoria, even an apprentice becomes a certified river warrior. A wise man once said, we should come home from adventure, perils and discoveries with new experience and character. After surviving the thrills of Cagayan, you'll go back to the maddening city changed. <laughs>